Who better to judge the merits of federal recognition than those living with the realities of this recognition? Russell Means of the Oglala Sioux Tribe is former president of the American Indian Movement. He was directly involved in the armed resistance at Wounded Knee in 1973 in which the federal government ultimately acquiesced to Indian demands for restoration of their tribal lands. He said, grandson, all of this land someday will not be yours. That's the reality of federal recognition. Someday, none of this will be yours. Welcome to America. It's generally viewed as an extremely positive uh, uh, situation to be in because you do have a seat at the table. You, know, you don't get everything that you want just because you're a native government, but in the nature of our tripartite uh, uh, sovereignty under the Constitution, nobody gets everything that they want. You want to get into blood quantum? Blood quantum? I didn't know you guys were saddled with that. We are. There's only two other countries that utilize blood quantum. And both of them took the example of the United States. Nazi Germany measured Jews and gypsies by blood quantum. That, that government no longer exists. South Africa apartheid regime measured the people by blood quantum. That regime no longer exists. And both of them took their lead from the United States government. So you see, that's genocide in itself, the blood quantum system. And it's also to make you even further landless because they will not allow you to designate how your land is passed down. I get a check from the United States government. It fluctuates between 13 cents and 25 cents a year, least check. And it's because, because of this blood quantum business, I have broken down, I own 1 28th of an acre. Oh, wait a minute, 1 128th, that's it. 1 128th of an acre because of blood quantum and descendants and everything going down. So pretty soon, who owns the land? No one knows. And it's not being used. Guess who gets it? The bank. The local bank. So that's, a, and again, how they steal your land. Um, so I, I would encourage people to, and what is the hand that we've been dealt right now and how do we play it for our maximum benefit and, and, um, and, and, and so that our kids can be healthy. That's what it's all about. How about, let's go a few generations down the road, how are your great-grandkids, great-great-great-grandkids going to benefit from the deal that you've cut now when their blood quantum doesn't even come close to meeting the criteria that would avail them the benefits that you secured for yourself? And, uh, well, again, first of all, I haven't secured anything. I, I was just, uh, I, you know, I, I was in grade school when angst came about. Um, actually, junior high. Um, and here's how I describe a member of the tribal council. There's Washington, D.C. Here's a tribal council member. Um, that, again, uh, was something, the federal government um, and remember, there's 260 million people in this, um, in this country, the most powerful country in, in the world. They basically get to, to decide the rules. We get to go in and negotiate and say, this is how we would like it. But they're not going to do anything they don't want to do. That's how they travel to Washington, D.C. The Native Americans and Alaska Natives are supporting us 100%. They are seeking to have a uh, meeting with President Bush, and they will certainly carry our concerns to him. Why would anybody believe the United States of America in this world? Nobody does. So we're very hopeful. We think by Christmas we'll have a really good Christmas present. And I'm not pulling any punches here, man. I can take you to my reservation. 
and I can take you to the Blackfeet, and I can take you to the Diné, and I can take you everywhere where we're starving in America, and everywhere we're employed, and I can take you to the prisons. We got the same statistics as you do, except worse. Go to the United Nations. Talk to the governments of other nations. Do they trust the United States? No. States have no authority over tribal governments. Tri Hawaii is one of the only two states in the Union that criminally prohibits all forms of gaming. Tribal governments are not subordinate to state governments. <laughs> Reorganized Native Hawaiian government could not conduct any form of gaming in the state of Hawaii. Now these are some harsh, everyday realities for us under federal recognition. What would be permanent is a government-to-government -government relationship. And a president could not just come in and by whim dissolve it. And, and if we can establish that, that becomes permanent. The office that would be is, great. is harder to establish. That would be wonderful. What right do I have as a person living in this particular snapshot of history? Why should I have the right to sell that birthright? We, we are out here in furtherance of Public Law 103-150. That's an insult, a slap in the face, like, you don't count. An apology for genocide? An apology for genocide? We support the, the policy of self-determination uh, within the federal framework. That's what this legislation does, and we think it's a step in the right direction. But at every turn, you've heard. They've indicted themselves. Hell, they gave you an apology admitting that they're the biggest liars and genociders on earth. There may be an alternative. I've yet to really pursue whether they would be more interested in a, in, a, in a cash and land settlement. And now you're going to run to them, not you all I know, but run to them and say, oh, thanks for the apology and all the genocide and all the lies, and now you're going to recognize us? Federal recognition provides, as this bill does, the opportunity for Native Hawaiians to have a much greater voice in the shaping of federal programs that affect their day-to-day -day lives, which there are many. You have to either be retarded or seriously criminally insane to want federal recognition. Kalahui Hawaii remains committed in our quest for federal recognition of the Hawaiian nation. What saddens me the most is that some of our most intelligent Kanaka Maolis, how come they don't understand this? I don't know. Because it's all legal. If you don't speak the language, it's very hard to comprehend what the case is about. So a lot of times you've got to rely on others to actually understand the terms to understand it. Sometimes I wonder. Is there another agenda going on here? Determination. We call upon this state legislature and the United States for formal recognition of the Hawaiian nation. Thank you. Always remember, you are the ancestor of those yet unborn. So when that really sinks in, right here and right here, and sinks through your body, that you are an ancestor of those yet unborn, that's, that's a responsibility that is enormous.